Hi folks, this is uh, Tom with Frugal Preppers. Um, a while back I did this um, review on this lock that I installed on my closet and um, I actually uh, keep my guns inside of here to keep them away from the children. And I got a little concerned this morning because my son came up to me and he's like, oh, you know, you can hack that lock. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, I found it on YouTube. Um, and he walks up to my lock and he says, see, you hit C, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it unlocks. And I'm like, holy crap. Um, so here's, I called the manufacturer and they said, oh, well, the one, two, three, four, five, six is the programming code. So when we look at the manual here, um, it'll tell you, um, hey, you need to reset your uh, programming code, and it tells you the steps to do that. And you press the set button on the back of the lock, put it in programming mode, enter in the current programming default code, which is 123456, and then you um, press uh, 10, and then you put in your programming code, which I did that. And the master programming code will open the lock, which I don't want to show my master programming code, so I'm going to aim this up. But I can put in the master programming code, it opens the door. I lock it again, but I can still put in the default master programming code, even though I've changed it, of one, two, three, four, five, six, and it unlocks. So I called him back, and I was like, you know, that this isn't right, because um, I can still open it. So what they don't tell you is that not only does it have one, two, three, four, five, six programmed in as the default master code and you need to change that, but it is also programmed in as a default user code. The user code, you can have multiple users that can operate the lock. So me and my wife both have a code, but it leaves the one, two, three, four, five, six in there. So you actually have to come back to the manual and it's on page uh, 25, or no, hang on, let find the right page, oh, page, uh, changing the current preset code, programming code, add new user code, delete individual existing user code, so page 23, and what you'll do is, um, put in the programming code, um, then you'll put in, um, the, user code or then you'll put in uh, 30 and then you'll put in the code that you want to delete so you have to actually put in your programming code I'll move this up and do that oh, I'm sorry hey let me open it first here so one two three four five six oh, I did that wrong one two three four five six okay so on the back of this there's a little set button once you take this little cover off which if you've programmed it this far you're familiar with that you reach back behind here, can't really see it, but I don't have any light in there. But you hold down that for two seconds and it beeps, and then you put in your programming code. And hit the lock button. Okay, now you put in 30, hit the lock button. And now you put in that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hit the lock button. And now that code's the one that's deleted. You wait 10 seconds for the red light to go off. Okay. Now I'll lock it again. Okay. So now if I put in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it doesn't work. And my son had C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It doesn't work. So now only the master programming code and the user codes can open this lock. So, I mean, this is real important, folks. Um, you know, I, I kind of recommend that this is a lock to secure your firearms from children. My 15-year-old, unbeknownst to me, watched this video two weeks ago and had completely unsupervised access to my armory. Um, not a good thing. Um, and they definitely should put that in the manual when they talk about changing the programming code that you'll also need to go delete that same code out of the user programming out of the user codes. I mean it doesn't say that that's a real blatant uh
problem. But, you know, people are also using these things to secure their entire houses. So that's what you need to do. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And um, I'll try to help you out. You can also call customer service. Um, once I explained to them what was going on, they were able to pretty much tell me what I needed to do. So um, their number um, is one eight seven seven four G A T E H S. I'll put that in the uh, comments down below too. Thanks. This is Tom with Frugal Preppers.